Yo ho ho, this is Clyde Renan 057. If you haven't seen any of these unboxings, they're probably uploaded or not uploaded because I'm lazy as heck. So if you want to see my uh, retrospective, my little unboxing, my little stupid shenanigans, go ahead and watch that if you want to. I don't really care. You know, it, it's just there. But um, anyhow, I want to go ahead and and do a, a full on unboxing of this with Xenoblade Chronicles. Also, a shout out to the um the Switch controller right here. Which I recommend immensely. Also, uh, you know, just putting this right here. You should get that bag because you know you're gonna be playing this a lot. Um, for JRPGs, I I don't necessarily think that you know the Joy Cons will be a good substitute for this. So you should probably get Xenoblade Chronicles too. Um, as for the special edition, look out because they will tape it and there's little marks on the box, which pisses me off. But, you know, it is what it is. Amazon is weird sometimes. It's not even Amazon. It's USP. So, on the lookout, if you're getting shipped by USP, do not, uh, do not trust them. And send in complaints if they just leave it at your door and don't knock at the door. Because that's happened twice. Um, Replacement-wise, I just said screw it because the Holloways was coming up. So, they went one this time with this uh, $100 thing. So, yeah. Anyhow, uh, this is one of my most anticipated games besides, you know, the main staples, <clears throat> Zelda and stuff. So give me a second. I'm going to unwrap this and I'll have some videos up for you guys to watch for the holidays. If you just want to uh, know about what you should or should not get for the Switch uh, now that you got your Switch console. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Just speaking of this, uh, this was Amazon Prime and they still messed up. So be on the lookout. Um, they didn't even put this in an Amazon box. So they are assholes. Just letting you guys know. So here you have your content. This is probably the biggest collects edition for um Switch other than the uh the actual the actual other thing, which was Disgaea, but Disgaea is gonna come with that. So you get that. And you get get a giant art book, which I was prominently looking forward to getting. Um, oh, I also got something that I need to overview, which is um, Crash Bandicoot. That I'm going to do an overview of, so stay tuned for that. And there's a bag coming up. So if you want to see that, go ahead. It's exclusive edition. It's going to be up later. Um, so, again, there's that. So like I said, here's the Xenoblade Chronicles art book and this thing is freaking heavy and girthy look at this this looks amazing um there's all the uh emblems it has just oh it's so beautiful um not gonna even uh, man, i'm just unboxing this stuff but i don't like unwrapping these things i like unwrapping these things at a later date so these two are just gonna stay like this um until I unwrap it myself. Don't even want to go into it. It probably has spoilers. But you get the gist. This is how it looks. It looks nice. It's a beautiful. It's, it's beautifully crafted. This is nice and heavy and girthy. 220 pages of fear. Uh, just spill. So if you want to pay double for the game. With extra content. I would advise you do. If you don't like art books. And you don't like soundtracks. Don't get it. You also get a steel bookcase. Which is the only steel bookcase you get for the Switch. First sale bookcase. So there's that too. Um, so I'm not as pissed off because this gives you the steel bookcase of um, what's on there. I'm a little pissed off because this actually has title and everything. So there's still that. And here you get Xenoblade Chronicles, a heavy tin case um, with the game. And the game is right there. There you go. That's That's all you need. Uh, what I recommend for it, I haven't played it yet, but from what I see in this game, a lot of potential. Get a Joy-Con. Not, not a Joy-Con. Get the Pro Controller. Get a skin for it. Also, if you really want it to look nice and snazzy and look like you're into the adventure. This has a sword in it, and this represents swords for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. But, you know, get the Joy-Con. Also, this was 3D printed right here. So, there's that. Um, do I recommend this collector's edition? Hell yes, it's it's really nice. It even snaps in nice. 
Um, the only down downside to it is that I will show you in a second what the downside to it is. Bam! That's the downside. As you can see, I made this 3D print again. Uh, it's a little bit lop lopsided. I was thinking of giving this to someone because I don't really like it. And I really want to just make a new another one with uh, actual supports on it. So, it's that. Uh, the, the thing is, it can't sw just it just can't get in there. Mostly because it's a steel bookcase. But, I did make something else that could get it in there. Bam! There. See that? That's... I'm thinking... Yep. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. So, I'm going to be using this for my, you know, collector's editions. My uh, main games. I'm thinking. So, you just... You can glue this onto the side and there you go. Sorry about a little hair. I don't know. It's a furry ball. But, yeah, that's Xenoblade Chronicles for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Collaborate out. And I'll see you later. Um, Just to clarify, I might not be doing a lot, a lot of unboxings or a lot of videos soon. Um, real life comes and gets involved. I don't want to sound, you know, all de demoralizing and depressing. But I'm going to be looking for a job. And I, I think I'm going to be ending this channel soon. So... Um, just a heads up, if you don't see unboxings or videos by me, that's most likely the reason. It's not that, you know, I don't want, I, you know, I want to, um, stop. It's just that I have to stop for real life and other things. This has just been a heads up to you guys. Uh, it's been fun. I didn't really care about the channel, but I did start caring because, you know, honestly, I like doing just random stupid unboxings that make no sense. I like doing satire. And I like, you know, doing stuff for people that, you know, like to watch just things in general and shenanigans. So next year, it might be my last year. I'm doing a lot of videos. Um, most of them are going to be satire. I'm thinking about doing just really, really funny satire. Just dumb, dumb stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh... Yeah, I, I would like to thank all my subscribers, all the people that watch me, uh, people that hate me. I know you're watching right now. You're salty as shit, right? But, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Climbing out. Uh, I'm looking forward to overviewing the uh, Crash the crash $100 uh, figurine that I got. And that's pretty much it. Also, I have a bag coming up, and I will give my overview of what games to get and what games to not get um, for the Switch. As I play them later on, um, I don't have really have that many, but I got the main staples, and I'll, I'll just give my little uh, snippets. Also, we'll give you know a general synopsis of what game, what to get with your Switch console. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And like I said, the rupees and the block and whatever might be doing that later on. So. It, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, Clyburn out, and I uh, hope you guys look forward to the overview, synopsis, and everything else. Fuck. S switched. Switched. That one looks stupid.